okay this is a quick session for understanding different res response codes or status codes in the response of a rest call now let me show you all the type of common responses that we get from a rest call the first one is 200 successful this means the server is successfully responding to the request that you have sent then 201 which is created in case you are sending a post request and the transaction is complete it is created in the database you get a 201 created response 202 accepted this means your request is accepted but it is not complete yet so it is still under process 400 bad input parameter let's say you are passing json as in the json body in the request and you are passing something which is round in the json body you get this kind of response 401 unauthorized is basically when you are passing the authorization details which are not correct then 404 resource not found this is basically your api or uh, the method that you are trying to access is not present in the server but the server is up and running 500 internal server error when it is not being able to communicate with the server itself services not available when the services are not running in the particular server so i'll try and show you most of this request or response status in the postman so to start with let's say i have configured my service properly and i have configured everything so and i am sending a request my server is up and running i have a get request so i'm just sending it to the server which is up and running and here i am expecting a 200 success so if you see this is a success now let's say i send it to some service which is not present in the server so i am just sending it to let's say test which i don't have in the server so for this if you see it is a 404 not found so these are the two things that we have received. Now let's say I have configured for basic authentication in my service and I am just sending it as no authentication. So in this case I shouldn't be able to communicate to the server itself. So let's see. okay so if you see, you see here it is a 500 internal server error so it's not being able to communicate with that particular service then the next one we can try for a bad input parameter let's say i configure everything properly I will because get request will not have a JSON body, so I'm going to put request and here I'm just kind of removing or I just pass nothing for a particular So uh, I have shown you the common response codes and how, how they are actually replicated using Postman and in case you get that what needs to be done for correcting your request. 
So that's it for today. Thank you for watching.